right, welcome to another episode Woo! of Three Hungry Guys. This episode is going to be about music festivals and, and food trucks. We're going to be at G105's Bob and the Showgram Hoedown. So enjoy the food, enjoy the music, enjoy the good time. We got some even cool zombies with us today. Write to us, we'll send you guys one. They're amazing and comfortable. Who would have thought you could have got lobster here? But we're at the, the lobster truck. We had a lobster tail and a lobster roll. And it was, it was great. so good. He might get another one because he's I am so gonna, obsessed with it. I am going to get another one. Called the Connecticut roll. It had lemon, a little mayo, a little butter. It was great. I like the spongy bread. I felt like that just like melted in your mouth. And it just it was sweeter and it was really good. And also the other thing we had, you know the old saying go, if pigs could fly, red hot and blue had a barbecue truck here with pig really wings. Good barbecue. So pigs actually can fly if they tried because they evidently have wings. Ah, look at this truck that we're at. You guys have to go check out the zombie shooting during Halloween. There's paintball, there's zip lining. Expect us to do an episode on those guys because <laughs> Halloween's around the corner and it looks, it looks, it looks like we're really trying to have a good time. As our journey continues on our food, music festival tour. We're in Pittsburgh today at the 6th Annual Pepper Fest. They have over 25 different local chefs from the Triangle and I'm here with my friends Nick and Mariana today who actually have been out there scouting out the different types of restaurants to tell us what we're going to try and taste today. Wow. If we didn't have so many places to go, I'll definitely get another one. <laughs> We're at the yesteryear's booth. Dave is part of our Carborough craft beer episode. We're actually going to go from this whole starting process of brewing beer from start to finish, and that'll be come up in a future episode. This is a jalapeno scuppernong slushy. It's actually really warm. At the end, it has like a pepperish taste to it. it yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. I'm here with the next future star chef of America. What are you serving us today? Soleil. And you slaved all day in the kitchen making this? <laughs> oh, supposed to say yes. <laughs> Finally, the, the good spicy. Uh, yeah, it's spicy. The meat's really soft, really soft, and the grits just complement it. Feeling adventurous today. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, this one's a little bit, yeah, this one's <laughs> Peppers, when they say it's a little bit of heat, that means it's spicy. So the Pepper Fest was started by Doug Jones, who actually founded Piedmont Biofarm. He started this festival as a way to research seed breeding, because Doug is actually a master seed breeder, and he helped develop this characteristic Tobago pepper. It is a habanero pepper with the spice bread out of it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of great food. You got a lot of kids events. It's really a fun family oriented festival for sure. Oh, I love it. Well, we had a lot of fun at the Pepper Festival. Remember, Pepper Fest 2016 in Pittsburgh. If you didn't make it this year, come next year. And we're going to go off now to the Carboro Music Festival to finish our tour of music, food, and fun. <laughs> See you there. Fun. <laughs> So we're at the Carborough Music Festival. We just came from the Pepper Fest in Pittsburgh, so we've had a lot of great food, so we're done really eating for the night. The Carborough Music Festival is all about the music. They've got over 25 different venues where bands are playing, well over 100 to 150 bands out of here. Starts one in the afternoon, ends one at night. It's the 18th annual Carborough Music Festival. If you're into music, you've got to come to this. It's great. We're going to go check out some great venues, enjoy yourselves, and We'll see you a little later. Hey guys, I'm here in the Art Center with Aubrey and Elizabeth, my friends. Hello. And uh, they've been enjoying the Carver Music Festival yes. Yes. for a so few many. hours now. Many, yep. many. Yep. Little Raven, Little Raven rocked. fantastic. And Eric Isabel Mashall. Taylor. Is oh my gosh, Isabel Taylor, hands Good. down, fantastic yes. singer, yes. local singer-songwriter. But do I do it right? 
So I'm with Jackie, one of the founders of the Carborough Music Festival, and she's going to tell us a little story about how this all came together some 18 years ago. Actually, the Carborough uh, Music Festival was started out as Fête de la Music. It was part of a worldwide festival that was celebrated every summer solstice in France and, and all over the world. And the idea was for musicians to come and just play on the streets. We couldn't get the town to fund us. We did a fundraising campaign and we had a raffle actually of a dolly, signed dolly lithograph back that first year that raised enough money to keep the festival going. And, and we did that for several years and that was the main source of funding for the Carborough Music Festival. I'm here with Logan Carter. So far, which one has been the best band you've seen? I love the West End at the Art Center, partly because I sponsor that stage. <laughs> but the whole, the whole thing, the whole town is the best thing. I mean, this is the best day in Carborough. So we had a lot of fun, a lot of great music, a lot of great bands. I really enjoyed the band that was playing over at the Southern Rail earlier tonight. We start with this food festival, Pepper Fest, and then we come to Carborough Music Festival all within one day, within the Triangle. That's just a little bit of what the triangle offers like yeah. great food, great music, great events. Yeah. I don't know anywhere else where you can where you can get that. Triangle is yeah. where it's at. And what's great about the Carborough Music Festival, it's all free. It's all sponsored by the town of Carborough. But I would say spend some money at some of the nice restaurants here <laughs> and support them. But it's definitely worth it's, it. It's it's been a great day and we had a lot of fun. So from all of us at Three Hungry Guys, we'll see you the next time. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> I feel like a pepper. Not a Dr. Pepper. I <laughs> had a little too much spice today. This is not weird at all. What did you like? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try one more time. <laughs>